the year video I wanted to go over a couple of new things coming on the channel and one of the projects that I'm working on is a new desktop PC editing system. Uh, so I got a bunch of new parts here, and these are not sponsored, nothing of this is sponsored, I just picked these up myself. And recently me and Matt have gotten all into watching these like PC gaming and, and computer building channels, and there's like a whole world of them out there and it's really cool. So we've been getting all into uh, finding the uh, these parts for the system. Uh, so this will be for editing, uh, for the shop out here. And we just switched the editing system to the Adobe Suite and the uh, computer that's out here in the shop uh, can't handle that at all. Uh, so we wanted to build a new one. And in our previous business, we used to build servers for networking. So we build computers quite a bit, uh, but we haven't done that in a long time. So all of these parts are new and it's been really fun getting into them. Looking at all these parts kind of has made me think about how cool it would be to actually build a case um, in wood for, for a really good computer for a desktop. Um, and I'm just kind of debating about how to do that. I'm thinking like wood or maybe MDF with veneer. Of course, heat management is going to be uh, something to consider there since like yeah, you need some really good cooling system. Um, but I thought that would be kind of cool to build a case, a wooden case. Do you guys have any ideas for that? Or would you be interested in seeing something like that? Because I haven't actually seen anybody do that and I think that would be really cool. Um, but first of all, I just want to get familiar with all of these parts um, and build this system. Of course, you can go really crazy with these parts. And the goal here, I guess, is not to build a $3,000 gaming system. This is for editing. Um, so the goal here is to build something a bit more manageable that's also really effective um, and quite powerful at the same time. And this is going to be in the shop. Um, and I've been doing the editing up to this point. Um, but I think Matt will do some more of the editing as well, which is why we're thinking about upgrading it out here. Um, and up in this corner here, you can see the video where I recently upgraded my shop Wi-Fi system. So now this is much better uh, for doing various tasks um, as opposed to the way it was before. But now I kind of want to take these boxes apart and see what's inside. Okay, so this is the power supply and I went with a modular one because I want to control the wires. So lately I've been watching like Jay's Two Cents and Paul's Hardware. What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here. What's up guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Oh, hello there, beautiful. So ever since switching to Ryzen. Hello and welcome back to the 8-Bit Guy. Greetings and welcome to an LGR thing. I'll link a bunch of them in the description. And it's kind of funny because I actually feel like there's, it's a whole different world. Woodworking is one world on YouTube and computers and hardware is like a whole different world and it's really fun to discover these different channels sometimes. So this might date me but the last time I put a power supply in it was a lot less watts and this is a 550 so wow that, that's just gorgeous. It looks so sleek. I love the wires too. Look at them. They look so cool. Okay, so for the motherboard, went with the B350 to pair it with the Ryzen. Look at this. It's like a Borg vessel or something. It's like one of the things that I think is kind of funny with these uh, all these new uh, PCs that people are building is because the, the cases are so beautiful and you get to see what's inside and everybody's like obsessed with having their system be like the prettiest system <laughs> and having the cables being like really nice and so you can see all this cool, this cool hardware because it is just beautiful though. I mean, look at that. It's like a piece of jewelry or something. So we got the graphics card here and I went with a modest one. This is a 1050 Ti. And that's because I'm not really, this is not really for gaming. It's just for editing. <laughs> it looks so cool. It is huge, isn't it? Wow. And then with the fans on it too. And look at that aluminum there. It's really big cooling. Hard drive next. And so I just went with an SSD hard drive. Oh, look at how it's so light. Huh. It's so like tiny. So I went with 16 gigs of RAM. Corsair Vengeance. Low profile memory for high performance overclocking. <laughs> gonna overclock this computer. Yeah. Okay, next we're gonna do the Ryzen. So, this is the CPU. Went with the Ryzen 5 1600. Okay. 
there's like the packaging on all these products. It's just gorgeous. So look at that. It's like it's so sleek everything. <laughs> look at that. I mean look at the the it's like so cool looking. Quite hefty. Okay, so we got the chip right here. Nice cooling for that. And I remember to pick up a little USB thing here so I can install a Windows 10. Okay, so here we have the case and it's like super sleek and it has this tempered glass panel. And that's something that I'm thinking about adding uh, to the wooden case. Because I just think that would look really cool to have like the dark wood, some kind of walnut or something, and then to have that tempered tempered the glass so you could see everything and then maybe some lighting to accentuate that. Awesome. Look how sleek it is. Oh my god. The finish here is really nice. It's like what a difference from these old cases. These old cases like look nothing like this. It's so much nicer. Of course, the point here is that you actually show this off. You have this on top of the desk or your table or something. You don't hide it underneath your desk like you used to do in the past, you know, with these, with these computers. I mean, that's why they look so beautiful because they're actually like, you know, supposed to be displayed. And that's why you want the really cool cable management um, and that some people put lighting in them. Um, and it's like a piece of art, you know. Um, so anyway, it's gonna be really fun to uh, put this together, I think. And if you're interested in this kind of thing, I will probably make some more videos relating to putting these together and these kinds of things in general on my second channel, Darbin Notes, where I'd make more vlog style videos. Um, because yeah, while I probably will make a larger um, computer case build video on Darbin Orber, all this kind of stuff in between will go on Darbin Notes. So go over there if you're interested in that kind of thing. And you can find that up there, and I'll put a link in the description uh, to Darby Notes as well. Um, otherwise, it's like this new year is coming up, and I'm just kind of thinking about what kind of stuff I want to do with the channel for this new year. Um, like, obviously there are some changes. I have my baby now uh, as well, and I'm thinking about that. Um, but I really want to get into a lot of cool stuff. I have a couple of lighting projects coming up. Um, I really want to do more organizing. I have a couple of stereo, not stereo, but like a couple of sound projects, like speaker style projects coming up as well. Um, and then I guess we'll see um, what's going to, uh, yeah, what the channel will have. Um, what are you guys interested in seeing? Actually, that'd be kind of interesting to hear. Uh, do you have like some type of video that you would like to see me uh, create or work on uh, for this new year, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.